Mario Matthews, as his name, was caught trespassing at Golden One back in 2019. He died after being detained by police officers that day. As Fox 40's Gene Nguyen details what led up to this decision and how his family is reacting, some of the video in the story may be unsettling to some viewers. It was these doors behind me here that Mario Matthews walked through back in July 2019. And just a few days later, after entering this building, he ended up losing his life. Now his family has settled the wrongful death lawsuit. And while they say it brings them some sort of closure, it's still a reminder that their loved one isn't here. More than three years ago, Mario Matthews walked into the Golden One Center around 3.30 in the morning. He goes in to look around, goes down to the court. Attorney Stuart Katz represents Matthews's family. Shortly after the 39 year old gets into the arena, Katz says he's chased down by Allied Universal security guards. They tackle him in a hallway. He gets knocked into the wall pretty, pretty hard is the way they put it. He gets taken to the ground. He's like 125 pounds or was. At that point, Katz says Sacramento police were called in to help all while one of the security guards has his knee on Matthews's neck. During this, it's clear that Mario can't breathe. He says you're killing me. Matthews died a few days later. Following his death, his family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the city of Sacramento and Allied Universal. Seek answers as to what happened and get some accountability for what happened and then also get some compensation, frankly, for his mother and his father unfortunately passed away while this thing was pending. Just this week, the family settled the lawsuit with the city and security company. With the settlement, the family agreed not to discuss the terms with Allied Universal, but not with the city. Uh, they paid $1.15 million. While this is some form of closure for Matthews' mom, Katz says she's far from feeling relieved that this is finally over. Her reaction to getting a check was crying. It wasn't, and it wasn't tears of joy. It was really guilt related almost. Unable to speak with us on camera, Matthews's mom, Elizabeth Avila, says she's thankful her son's death provided positive changes through Assembly Bill 229, requiring the use of force training for security guards. Fox 40 also reached out to Allied Universal for comment, but a spokesperson wasn't able to give us one in time for this story. Now, we tried to reach out to the city for comment, but they did not want to provide one. In Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.